Hey, what's up everybody? So in this video I'm going to show you how you use SheepIt. And this is basically a free render farm for Blender. And it's actually really good. It's awesome actually. I mean, I've only been on it for four days. And I've been able to render out projects super fast. So this last one, this is this the last one I did today. And I think this would have taken me at least a day on my laptop. And it only took 47 minutes. And... This is the scene. So it has an ocean modifier, has HDR in the background. It's got a good amount of stuff. And it gets a little funky over here, but that's because of me. So that's actually another thing you should note is make sure your animations are up to par and the perfect before you go ahead and render them out on this. So um, basically the way it would work is you load in your project and I'll just show you how to do it. First you go to here and get started, download it. Uh, you actually don't even need to run the app to do your project, but in the beginning I would run the app to try to build up some points. But say you already had a lot of points like me, uh, you could just load up a project. You don't always have to run it, but I'll show you in a second. You'll understand what I mean. Uh, <clears throat> so you just add your project and means that you just need to load in a .blend file and it can't be over 500 megs and now what I meant from before is that the reason it rendered in 47 minutes is because if you look over here um, I have 70,000 points which was accumulated in like four days but it says because of that I'm on fourth on the waiting list out of 12 projects and since I'm also on a team which you can join teams uh, it's giving me a boost of a million points basically so I'll be third so that means out of all the 12 projects trying to get done on this server right now I'll be third so that's a big part of uh, why I got my that render done so fast that project done in 47 minutes now when I first started off the first day it took maybe like three four hours to do that same kind of project so um, which even then I can't complain because it's better than my computer but uh, yeah when you get high rank it's super fast so yeah there's a lot of rewards to this so basically you would choose your blend file and I've already did it so I'm just gonna load it in right here and then uh, skip over to the next step because I've already done it so yeah once you load up your your file it should take you to this screen if not you can just go to the projects and get your uh, project there and uh, basically what's gonna happen is this video is not gonna be there because it's not done yet but these will all pop up and these are it's a 300 frame project so this is laying out all the frames and they're done already but basically what will happen is they'll start off white and then they'll get orange once people are starting to render them and then you could actually even click into this into the uh, frame itself and see who rendered it and uh, basically that would also be an indicator to make sure your animation is okay too so like you can click in the beginning and see that the boats over here and then if you go towards the end you can tell that it's okay so I've messed up once where I think I've looked at the I looked in uh, I didn't bake in the scenes properly and it wasn't doing anything so I just deleted it so now I just make sure everything's okay even though I messed up on this one but um, yeah the other three projects I did on this uh, came out really good so yeah um, being able to get this stuff super fast is a big perk and uh, yeah I, I recommend it to anybody who wants to render stuff out fast especially if you're using a laptop um, and what else can I say also, you might want to click GPU enabled when you load in your thing. It won't be there automatically, so you can go over here and click it. And so basically, now I'll show you how to use the app, which is you don't really even need to do anything. So you would just download the executable file. And one thing I would recommend is pin it to the taskbar. And then it's going to pop up. And uh, give it a minute to load. So basically what's going to happen is once you load this, say you are rendering out your project, 
it's always gonna load out uh your give your frames priority basically so once sheep it I just started it like uh once it starts up basically if you are rendering out your project it will give your project the priority so right now it shows you how this works a little bit like you saw before there's 12 projects there's about 500 people online and basically it's just gonna load up blender in your background and then as you can see I'm not running blender so I think in the beginning I wasn't sure what was going on I tried to open blender but no it's it's running in the background basically so um, you can still do everything I mean it might crash if you're doing some real heavy stuff but you can still run blender while this is running believe it or not so I'll actually go and show you one step that's really important before I start showing you some more about the the sheep it uh, the sheep it app itself but basically any uh, models any textures uh, HDRs are gonna need to be uh, well, all your keyframes and animation stuff, physics are going to need to be baked in first off. But like any HDRs and stuff like that are also going to need to be packed into the file. So basically it just means it's, you have to add all the files that were uh, originated for your file, your original animation. And let's see, I'm going to add... What is it? background sorry so basically I'll just show you just so you can see I'm gonna add in a little HDR just a quick example so you know that it worked at least when you do it so I just load in the HDR and I'm not gonna show you how to bake the keyframes there's probably a million other tutorials how to do that but this is the most important thing besides that is you have to automatically pack into blend now once this thing is actually checked you don't have to do it again so you could load more stuff into it and it's automatically checked so it's going to save everything into the files automatically okay so I was because you know if someone else is running blender and they don't have your files it's not going to work so that's the way you have to look at it if someone else like you're giving it to a friend to render it on his computer you'd have to give him all the files he needs so this makes it a lot easier so let's see it says I'm rendering let's see what's going on over here now you see look blender is running and I'm not using blender so sheep it is, is, is rendering so basically the last thing I'll tell you about is the point system and you earn points for every frame you render so okay now I rendered one frame uh, they didn't give me a point for that yet but I don't know why but either way you can go into your account over here in the right corner and uh, I'm high up because I accumulated uh, this I left the computer on for like two days and got a good amount of points but as you can see the most uh, you don't get the most points from frames itself you get the most points from uh, these awards and so in the beginning you're probably you can get all these awards real easy and start off and get like probably 5,000 points you know within a couple hours so um, you know you get a thousand points here just for one frame but you know so 50 hours of render time you get 10,000 points 10 hours you get 5,000 over here, like, see, I left the computer on for two days, I got 20,000 points. So, you know, if you do that in the beginning to build up a good ranking, see, I'm in the top 50%, you're going to get your projects done a lot faster. And then the other way to do it, too, is to join a team. And then, like I showed you before, when you load in your project, actually, I'm sorry, let me go back to the team just so you can see how much some of these guys, how much points some of these guys have. And this is just how much points he generated for the team. But, uh, anyways, this is, uh, you just go to projects, 
and then add your projects and then you can see over here see because I'm on that team I'm getting extra priority on my stuff to get done so it's pretty cool I would definitely recommend this to anybody um, I think you can also donate and also get 10,000 points if you wanted to get some points quick fast uh, but yeah you don't have to mess with this I usually just load it in and then uh, I think the screen after this will show you about splitting it up if you want to shows you right here that if the frames are going to be more than uh, 30 minutes per frame that it's recommended to split it up into tiles so uh, yeah I would do that just to if that's what they're asking for then I would do that uh, but yeah other than that when you're running this sheep it, in the background it's nothing really more to know than just to turn it on basically and so actually if I were to exit right now I would be rendering in the middle of a, a frame so it can you can also put this option to exit after the frame so you don't cancel out right away and uh, lose the frame but either way uh, hope this helped out hope I explained everything uh, if you have any questions uh, just leave a comment and hope this uh, was a good tutorial and I think everybody should be using this you know, if you don't have like a, a little farm going for yourself in the first place, so go check it out. Thanks, guys. Okay, so actually, I forgot a very important step, and that was to save out your frames. And basically, once all of these turn blue, you'll be able to go over here and click download frames. And I already did it, so basically, it's just going to give you a uh, a compressed folder with all your frames so now you could go and take this into the video editor and uh, blender and and uh, save it to a video file so yeah a day day's project done in an hour less than an hour so if you guys don't believe me try it for yourself oh yeah that if you uh, if you're running sheep it and then your computer sleeps or turns off it's not going to work, obviously. So um, you might have to change some settings on the computer so it stays on. Uh, but yeah, that's about it. So hope you guys like this.